Oregon State. They lost to Nebraska 77-70 last Sunday in Lincoln and were underway. Baylor Bears with the ball. And this team will remind you, this Baylor team, a lot of that 2020-21 National Championship team, guys, because they're so deep in the guard position, outstanding physical defenders as well. So Baylor coming in at 9-0. They have not played a conference game as of yet. On the baseline, went to the NCAA tournament last year. Knocked out in the second round, three to shoot. They've got a hurry. Good defense by Michigan State. And they'll force the turnover. Today, playing in Detroit, they know they need a win against a top-ranked team. Put up jump shot, first one going down. And this time, it's Tyson Walker. Walker had 17 on Sunday against Nebraska. Uh, two positive starts, eh? Outstanding defensive possession and then offensively able to get the first shot that was drawn up by Michigan State. Here's RJ Dennis. Ray J. Dennis rather. He stripped, picked up, hold on, in transition, kicks it out on the baseline, jump shot, in and out, moves ball to Soko there to an arena. Body Sissoko, and they need more out of him. They need to go inside. That's what Tom is on Kroger. And they're already fired up here in the Motor City. Little Caesars Arena. Dennis will feed the post. Misi, the kick. Dennis, way short. Trapped down by Tyson Walker. Yeah, get out in transition, see if Michigan State can attack. Right away in their secondary break, already feeling good, Gus, offensively with the two possessions they've already capitalized on. Hogarth backs it up, senior point guard. He has another year remaining if he elects to use it. Baseline, that one off the heel. Aikens can't get it to go. Knocked out of play and will head the other way. The offense sputtering to affect our defense and not get off to a slow start, of course. Here's Bridges to the basket and Baylor on the board now. Jaden Bridges, the returning starter from last year, transfer from West Virginia, and so much value at that forward position. That's going to be a key matchup between him and Malik Hall. Closing in on 100 starts for Bridges. Yep. Walker puts it on the floor, stripped on the way up, and five. It doesn't look too bad now in regards to James Madison able to back that up with quality wins. And, and against this Baylor team, the attention to detail, the little things, guys. The ability to get easier baskets and the defensive rebound is going to be the key. Walker with a kink in his shoulder. He's played with injuries this year. Hip, also flu-like symptoms. Michigan State with a 7-2 lead. Here's a pick and roll. Dennis down the lane. Lob it inside. Knocked away. He gets it back on the baseline. Feeds and a foul coming up. Great job. Malik Hall with the rebound. He's tied up. The jump ball, the call, arrow favoring the Spartans. The Spartans made their 15th trip to the Sweet 16 under Tom Izzo. Loose ball and a steal by Baylor. Well defended. Here's Walter in the corner. Dennis knocks down a triple. Loose ball turnovers, and I talked about that matchup with Jalen Bridges. Bridges able to get the best of Malik Hall that time, and Dennis able to capitalize three ball corner pocket. Baylor right back in it. First field goal for the Baylor Bears. Pull up 15 foot jump shot off the mark for Tyson Walker. That may have been partially deflected. Inside. And no good. Hogarth the other way. Look at the feed the post. Walker curls live. Oh! <laughs> Carson Cooper couldn't get it to stay down. He didn't slam it through, but he was able to get it in. And when Michigan State can play quick, get into their actions, they're going to find 
a lot of the driving lanes easier to access. Now Jaden Dunn backs it up. Lobs it baseline and in. Woo! That's Eves Meese. The young man, seven footer freshman from Cameroon. And you're not going to get a lot of post up play from Meese, but you will get the lob thread and beautiful timing. A little bit outside his range, but he was still able to get the ball through up and in. 9 7 Michigan State. Bogart puts it on the deck. Now backs his man down. Drop step baseline off the window. No. Cooper good tip jamming. Picks up the loose ball. The kick. Rise and fire. Walker. Tyson. Walker. Makes it 12 7 game. I tell you, they're ready for Bear here in the Detroit, Michigan. This crowd is sensational. play tonight against Denver air ball out of bounds and jump on the call it'll favor Bama four to shoot for Baylor I don't think they were aware and that's a shot clock violation and that's a second shot clock violation and let's give some credit to Michigan State defensively for applying some more of that pressure. what you said at the beginning of our broadcast. Watch Michigan State on the defensive end. That's where they're really going to try to earn their bones. Jeremy Fears, a freshman inside, and he'll find Carson Cooper for the jam. Well, you want to get some production inside time. Mizzle talked about that with Cooper and also Sissoko. Throw it to the rim. They get some easy opportunities that way, guys. Langston Love. Where's number 13 in the game for Baylor? Dennis. Oh, John Wuna. Also in. Long jumper. That one. Off the heel. Rebounded. Akins the other way. Jay Nakins. Averages 10 points a game. He can score. Largest lead of the game right now for Michigan State. Pick and roll. Hesitation. Underneath. Holloman. 10 to shoot. Fear. And a whistle. Walker. Fears. Young man from Joliet, Illinois. Freshman. 10 to shoot. Holloman, pick and roll. Cooper slides to the basket. Holloman, the teardrop off the glass and in. Trey Holloman from Minneapolis, Minnesota, sophomore, gives Michigan State a 16 7 lead. And this looks like the team that was preseason ranked number four in the nation. Trey Holloman picking up his first foul. Jacoby Walter. Pumping and grinding, draws a double team, tries to split it, and a whistle, and a foul coming up against Michigan State. Jump shot, Dennis. Looks like he was fouled on the release. No call, and Michigan State will get it again. Attention to detail. Holloman that time did an excellent job, Gus, of kind of playing on the side of Ray J. Dennis to be able to not only contest the shot, but get a piece of it. 7 0 run for Michigan State. Tyson Walker sliding his way into the front court. Holloman quickly turns. They run the weave up top. Walker. Cohen Carr is checked in, and Walker fadeaway three on the baseline goes down. That's the thing about Michigan State. They haven't been shooting well, they especially from three. But here's the thing, Gus. Are you getting the kind of quality shots that the offense is going to give you? If the answer is yes, then you continue to look and search for those shots knowing that they'll go down for you. Remember, this Baylor team is undefeated. 9-0. 10-0 run for the Spartans. Fears. Fans ready to explode. Holloman drive. Now Tyson Walker. Orchestrated. Probing. Walker. Shaking. Rises. And hits. Where have these guys been? Where are you at?
56 to go first half. Baylor in the gray uniforms. Michigan State in green. Here's Dennis. His father played at Flint Northwestern. Tim, left wing. That shot off the mark for Langston Love. Spartans with it again with the lead and momentum. Baylor one for seven from the three-point line, so they came out flat. Yeah, but they're not able to get the dribble penetration they're accustomed to, and then once you help, Gus, they're able to spread out and get some open looks. Here's Walker trying to shake up Ojan Wuna. Pulls up off the bounce, off the heel, no. And the rebound goes to the Bears. This is where I think Baylor get in transition quick, see if you can get something easy, two feet in the paint. Dennis working hard inside, no. Loose ball tipped up and in. Ojan Wuna, the sophomore from Nigeria, went to the NBA Global Academy. When I come back, Jimmy, my next life, that's where I want to go to school. That's where you want to go to school? Excellent job last time by Dennis to get downhill. Sissoko. Here's a handoff. Walker. Ten to shoot. They swing it. Hogar. Down the lane. Pivots. Big hits. AJ Hogar. Double figures in six straight games. After just 15 points combined in the first three games. 44-9, Sparty, and a blocking foul on the baseline. They're so proud of it. That one off the side rim. Hogard, Malik Hall, Walker. Stop and start, gets to the hole, double pump off the glass, no. Nice rebound by EBC. Right now, Baylor just can't buy a bucket. Averages about 91 points and shoots 52%. So right now, a little stymied offensively. You got to give some of that credit to Michigan State and their defensive pressure. Langston Love call for the foul, his first 14 foul. Baseline pull up. Walker again, tipped out. And will stay right here. And that allowed this Michigan State team second and third opportunities that time. Didn't bowl well defensively for Baylor. 15 to 2 run. Making a 17 to 2 run now as Xavier Booker, the freshman, hits a shot. Young man was a finalist for the Naismith High School Boys Basketball Player of the Year out of Indianapolis. Largest lead of the game for Michigan State. Eight minutes to go first half, 26 to nine. Baylor on the season. Rare turnover, Hogarth the It's a combination of winning, which all going to come together again. We got a lot of time left in this game. This Baylor team is not going anywhere. But the kind of start that the coaching staff, and more importantly, the players of Michigan State needed. Michigan State on a 19-2 run. Baylor with the basketball. Dennis trying to wrap it around. That ball deflected by Cohen Carr. Six turnovers for Baylor. And just closing down the gaps Michigan State are right now. Baylor has been able to get a lot of easier shots against different opponents, but right now Michigan State congesting up the paint for Baylor. Lake Hall. Ten to shoot. Akins. Akins. Try to create. Step back, Jay. Short. Long rebound picked up by the Bears. Dennis High dribble into the front court. Jake Nutt cut off. And the whistle. Walter to the basket, kept it up high and knocked it down in traffic. You know what I love about this young man? He doesn't press the situation. Despite having all of the out accolades, it's not like he has to come out each and every game, Gus, and prove that he's worthy of it. He plays within 
their team schematics, and now he's able to benefit from it. Averaging 15 per game on the season. Inside, a big pass, strong to the basket. He took the bump and banked it down, his first bucket. And a whistle and foul. This Baylor team, but nothing like the Spartans on what they provide, especially from the perimeter. Cooper wasn't ready for the pass from Hogarth. Baylor the other way. None. The lob inside. Knocked away. Great job by this Michigan State defense. Cohen Carr read that all the way. And the Spartans trying to make a pay on the other side. Eves Misi picking up the foul. Yes. First half, 31-11, 32-11. Largest lead of the game for Michigan State. I don't know, maybe they need to start playing all their games in Detroit. <laughs> hey, they may be. It feels good. I got a feeling this Baylor team, though. You guys can make a run, but when you're not patient offensively, you play right into the hands of what Michigan State ultimately wants you to do, which is to turn it over. Hogarth, pick and roll. Holloman. Here's Cooper to screen for Hogarth. Kept his dribble alive to the bucket double. Pop. Oh, with English. AJ Hogarth gives the Spartans a 34 to 11 lead. Under five to play first half. Inside, none, bump, outlet. Walker tracks it to the hole, up and in. Who are these guys? Michigan State with 16 points in the paint. None. Dennis draws a double. Skip pass. Jake Nunn, and he's fouled. Continue to put pressure off the defense, maybe pick up some fouls who can create some points from the free throw line. Carson Cooper picked up the foul his first. Jake Nunn at the line. The VCU transfer. I know his comparison to, at his size, Davion Mitchell in regards to his defensive prowess on how he likes to ball hawk his father Tim from Flint played at Northwestern Jeff Greer Andre Rising Lynn Rice That ball out of bounds last touch by Baylor Cooper Walker curling down the lane strip taken away nicely done by Baylor Here's a jump shot, done, and he'll knock it in for three. Baylor two of 12 from the three-point line. Pick and roll, Cooper. Six to shoot. Up top, fears, hard drive, up, and foul. No, traveling is the call. Ray J. Dennis. Walter. Oh, John Wuna also in the game. Pull up jump shot off the back rim for none. And a foul on the rebound. The one and one for the Spartans, Cohen Carr. He's got three points. Yeah, but how many times have we seen in this program Carr, but also Booker, the player development aspect, Gus, of what they were able to bring to the table, highly touted and talented freshman. 38-15. Jalen Bridges can't wrap that one around. Michigan State playing the perfect game here in the first half. Their defense has been excellent, holding Baylor to 6 of 20 shooting. And only four turnovers for Michigan State as well. Walker down the lane at the step in the corner. That one is 
good. Holloman. 41 to 15. Spartans exercising the demons in this first half. Confident, not cocky, assuredness, physicality, all the qualities that Michigan State have been known for coming to fruition in this first half, Gus. Dennis down the lane and a whistle and foul. Holloman. Two years at both programs. Misses the free throw. 145 to go first half. And that's an 87% free throw shooter missing that front end, Gus. You can tell you and how off offensively Baylor has been in this first half. Tyson Walker, shake oh, and bang. Woo! And a steal. Fears. The kick. Akins frees himself with the dribble to the hole. And he'll throw it away. Dennis in the front court. And another turnover for Baylor. In the front court. Windmill. Spartans putting on a show. Listen to this crowd. Jumper off the heel for Walter. Michigan State can add to their totals right here. And a timeout ball by Tom Izzo. 30 seconds to play in the first half. Hogar. Down the lane, the runner. In and out. Oh, it's a Soko can't bang it in. Loose ball out of Bob Baylor ball with 16.2 to go. Dennis. Baseline jumper. Got it. And that's the end of the first half, but it was a big one for Michigan State. See if they can try to get into the paint themselves off the dribble to get some easier baskets offensively. Aikens double teamed and he'll get a quick timeout. Tom Izzo, by the way, has one of those as well back in 2000. And here's a turnover. Driving to the hole, and short. No call. Baylor the other way. None. Down the lane, in the air, the flip. And finally tipped up and in. This time it's E. Bisi. How does Baylor get themselves back in this game? Slowly. Get defensive stops, you get offensive rebounds, and you protect the paint. With they're doing right now again. Let's see if Baylor can capitalize on that outstanding defensive possession. Two quick Michigan State turnovers. And it goes down for Jacoby Walter. That's a beautiful stroke, a beautiful touch. Timing, patience. Michigan State has led by as many as 30, but they have turned it over three times to start this second half. Baseline and goes down for none. And Tom Izzo may want a timeout. 45-24. Bears trying to claw their way back into this game. They start the second half on a 7-0 run. Remember, they're undefeated. Hold on. And a reach-in foul coming up against the Bears. A steal. What a great defensive effort by Jay Nakins. Forty 
7-24. Michigan State pops it up again. Done. They do get a chance to set their defense. Michigan State with five turnovers here in the second half. Oh, God. Correct myself, he had 12 against Nebraska on Sunday. Eight now. That makes it a 49 to 26 game. Long jump shot. That one goes down for Jalen Bridges. Good response that time by Baylor. Down to 20. Trailed by as many as 30. Michigan State to start thinking about. And Gus, they can't give up the triple drive penetration. And that's what Michigan State has been able to benefit and exploit is their ability to beat their primary defender and get in the bank. Bridges again, this time a brick. What got in the air? Oh God, and he's fouled on the baseline. Baylor is on an 11 2 run. And all yes. the way back to the first half. And a whistle. Hogarth with Sissoko. Hogarth draws a double team. And a kickball. Kickball. Malik Hall, who's been quiet offensive. Hogarth crossed over Joe. And count the basket. Goaltending is the call. Gets a free throw to go. Three point play. 54-29. Michigan State may have calmed the storm a bit after turning it over five times to start the second half. And a good response. None. Hooked away by Walker. Picked up. Hogan has got hard with the ball. Rebound, new shot clock for Spartans. 
Hogarth, the lob to Cody, to Michigan State attacking the rim, 58-31. Beautiful. That'll go down for Ojan Luna. Beautiful pass, Gus. And, you know, Tom Izzo challenged his post players to be better, and Carson Cooper and Sissoko had met that challenge and exceeded it. There he is. Cooper with the offensive rebound. And a steal. Hogarth drives. Lost it. And a foul coming up. Second half, 61-33. Cooper, nice game. Eight points, four rebounds. Dennis, guarded by Fears, the freshman. Another jam for this Baylor squad. I tell you, they do that extremely well. Eve Misi. He's got eight points on four or five shooting. All at the rim. Rebound going to Ojan Wuna. Dennis to the bucket. Nice. And that's an example to um, Xavier Booker turning his back as a freshman on that pick and roll opportunity when he was supposed to play drop coverage that gave the easy basket inside. You know who scores on that basket all the time that play is Holloman gets the ball. Oh, nice. You've been watching Caitlin Clark? Yes, she scores everywhere. How you gonna stop I it? need some Caitlin Clark <laughs> in my life, baby. What? Man. Yeah. You definitely like to. No doubt. To have it is. Yeah. Walter backs it up. And an offensive foul coming up against Ojan Wuna. That compounds what's been happening thus far for Baylor this afternoon. Jeremy Fears. <laughs> His dad, Jeremy Senior, played at Ohio. Second free throw off the mark, out of bounds, and it's Baylor basketball. So Brad Underwood has something to say about that being in Illinois. Uh, like, sure. like, Tom, you got one. Uh -huh. let, me get, let me get the other one at least. <laughs>
Malik Hall starting to get into the act now for the Spartans. Dennis in the corner, nine. And push. 8.34 to play, second half. Dennis weaving, picks it up. Nice bounce pass inside, and Ojan Wuna will finish. He's got six, three of three from the field. Really quick with the basketball in his hands. Guarded by Dennis. And an offensive foul will be called against Mati Sissoko. Spartans. Defense has really been their hallmark today. Dennis changed hands in midair and lays it in. You need a better time by Dennis to get underneath Sissoko. Did a good job. Guarding him, but when he was at Toledo, he led the conference in assists. Back player of the year. Tough schedule. They've already played this season. Arizona. So, you know, and again, the James Madison loss at the time was a shocker. But JMU now still one of the few undefeated teams in the country, still in the top 25. So it has some credibility to it. And nice big yes. shot. James Madison is in the top 25, so it may not be as bad of a loss as he thought at the time. No, it, it felt like it. I mean, like the world was almost in the opposite state Right now, another dribble drive penetration. For these young men to believe in what Coach Izzo and the coaching staff has been preaching to them, stay the course, be who we're going to be, and be who we need to be to win. Tyson Walker with another bucket. He has 21 points. Blocked by Sissoko. Picked up by Hogar. Hogar hard into the front court. The Michigan State defense has been excellent. Inside. State. What? An outlet for when shots are not going in. You can get maybe some tough offensive baskets when you can drop it into the post. Like we've seen in the past from Michigan State teams to kind of ease the burden from the perimeter score. Cooper, quick turn on the baseline, lost it out of bounds. <laughs> Western losing to Chicago State at home. They'll fall out of the top 25. Dennis mishandled. Picked up on the sideline. Walker can't stay in bounds, so Baylor will get it back. And a steal, Hogarth. He's got Walker with him. Hogarth the line. With two hands. Tyson Walker. 
with 25. They match their largest lead of the game. So at the line, Jacoby Walter. Second free throw is good. 4.13 to go. Michigan State up 78-50. Tom Izzo not taking any chances of putting subs in too early. Even if it's own kid, Hogarth. Walker, pick and roll, 15 foot bay, short. Dana Bridges with a nice rebound. Grimes. Antoine Grimes from Ocala, Florida at the line for Baylor. You've been around it enough. You can easily lose a team that has struggled with their confidence. But this team, Michigan State, came out and responded well. And I expect the same thing for Baylor. It's a tough one for them to absorb this afternoon. But they're one of the better teams in the country playing in a top-tier conference in the Big 12. Undefeated at 9-0. Oh, God, the floor. And that falls for him. He has 14. 80 to 52. And a whistle. Nisi, the target. Second free throw. Going down for Misi. Full court pressure now by Baylor. Carr gets it to Fears. The lob of the baseline. And it's good for Xavier Booker. So fluid this Michigan State team today. And just, they were connected from the beginning offensively. Got off to a good start. Holloman called for his fourth foul. Ten Big Ten regular season championships, six Big Ten tourney championships, eight Final Fours, past Bob Knight in March of 22 for most wins in Big Ten history. 22 20 win seasons. And he was a Division II All American at Northern Michigan. He and his roommate, Steve Mariucci. Former Lions head coach. Five years in the front court. You're a Steelers fan. Right? I know. And we're struggling right there. We've got, got a big game against the Colts, baby. Well, we got a big game tonight against Denver. 2.30 to go, meeting the Detroit Lions. This ball picked up. Little. Owner of the Phoenix Suns is a Michigan State alum. Play for Coach Izzo. There's Matt yep. and James Jones right there, the GM for the Suns. David Smith told me that he's going to see if he can get his resume to Mr. Isvia. You think it'd be a challenge to get I it to him? I, I, I think he has. I think he knows some people. <laughs> I think he does. <laughs> <laughs> he may start as the vice president. 82, 56. It's just great to see what these young men are doing. So Smith at the line. Yeah, at times I was, yeah. I think of course in the NBA. One of my faves, favorite person, go, I'm going back to high school from Toledo playing basketball here in Detroit. Another one of my favorites is in the stands this afternoon. Who's that? Team Cleves, baby. Oh, yeah. National champion. Yeah. Michigan State now just having fun. Holloman. But he would show up for practice every day. Bet he's a great teammate. Unbelievable. 
need to spend time with my older son to shoot and work out. If I wanted to work out, the team would come. Prize. Unbelievable teammate. Better, better person than basketball player. And that's saying a lot. He's, he's a pretty good basketball player. He was a really good, ba great basketball player. NBA player, national champion of Michigan State. 15, 115 to go. Baseline. And that one will go down for Xavier Booker. And here comes Steven Izzo. His dad says, get in the game, son. A steal. And a whistle. Take a deep breath. He's telling them, I got this. I got this. He's got to hit this one. Watch the crowd. Listen to it if he makes it. That's the pair. Grass. Caleb Lerner. He'll get the first to go. 35.1 remaining in this game. Michigan State dominant from the very beginning. They knew they needed this one against an undefeated and sixth-ranked Baylor Bear team on what is considered a neutral court, but it's not. Baylor will recover, Gus. Izzo down the lane, the kick, and he throws it out of bounds. They went on a 27-4 run, opened it up in the first half. Walker had 25 for Michigan State. That's a little with the jumper. Ten seconds to go. And Michigan State will run out the clock. Spartans will improve to five and five on the season. They needed this one. 